Hi, I'm Derek with Wilson Pro. In this video, I'm going to cover the basics of filters and how they can be utilized to prevent signal overload. So here's the situation. You've got the signal booster system all set up, everything's working, but you're experiencing overload on a particular band and therefore are unable to place a call. Overload means that your booster is receiving a strong signal from a nearby cell tower. This is good if it's a signal coming from one carrier and it just means that the booster has had to reduce its amplification a little bit because the signal is so strong. But what if you need to boost the signal of another carrier that is weaker on the same frequency? What do you do? The best course of action is to detune the outside antenna. Aim the antenna away from the offending cell tower until the lights or the display on the booster changes. You can also move the outside antenna to a different location that is shielded from the cell tower. But what if detuning the antenna isn't an option? What if you're in this tricky situation? Let's say your customer is using AT&T. You set up the booster and aim the outside antenna at the nearest AT&T tower. But between the AT&T tower and the building, there's a Verizon tower blasting you with signal. You can't detune the antenna because then you'll lose connection with the distant AT&T tower. But because the Verizon tower is so close, it's overloading the booster and shutting it down. You don't need the Verizon signal, or as much of it, but you can't make a call on AT&T either because the overload is causing the booster to shut down. This is where a filter comes in. Filters are easy to install and we have multiple options available to filter out the undesired signal on band 5, sometimes referred to as 800 MHz band or cellular band, which is great because band 5 is the most used cell band. To install a filter, all you need to do is connect it between the outside antenna and the booster. Connect one side to the cable coming in from the outside antenna. Then connect a short two foot jumper cable to the other side of the filter and attach that to the outside antenna connection on the booster. Install a filter inside of a building as these are not designed to be weatherproof. You don't need to worry about which side goes to which. You can do it either way. You can't put it in backwards. Then the filter takes care of the rest. The filter will filter out or attenuate the undesired signal coming in on either channel A or channel B on band five only leaving your other signal intact. There are options for F or N connectors, so no matter what kind of cable you're running, you'll have no problem installing a filter. Deciding which filter you need requires a few key pieces of information. You'll need to know which carrier or carriers are used within the building. You'll also need to know which channels those carriers are using. And you'll also need to know which channel is causing the overload. A signal meter is the perfect tool for the job. Once you know which channel you want to keep, and which channels you want to get rid of. Yeah.